Hey guys, welcome in and welcome to my channel. My name is Carter and this is my first video. So hopefully on this channel, I'm gonna be making NBA videos. So anything that's happening with trades, rumors, anything, any crazy games, performances, anything really interesting around the league, I'm hopefully gonna get to, into on this channel. So without further ado, this first week, I wanted to talk about Trey Young and Luka Doncic. Two players that are some of my favorite players to watch in the whole league. I would say Trey Young's top five on league pass. And Lucas, they're probably the top, they're in the top five for most watchable league pass players right now. If you have league pass. If you don't, that sucks. I think right now, Trey Young is not a better player than Luka, but I think there's now a legit discussion about who is a better player. Because I think what Trey is bringing to the table, what Trey has done in the last 10 games, is really impressive. He's put some really nice performances together. Since January 20th, about a month from now, Trey Young has scored some of his highest scoring nights 42, 36, 38, 48, 45, 39, 50 points. And. And that doesn't even describe, like, the night-to-night -night stuff he's doing is pretty incredible. So he had this game against the Mavs, actually, where he scored, he only scored 25 points, but 13 of those were in the fourth quarter. And they just happened in succession like this, where I'm wa we're watching this, and what's incredible about Trey is, is his ability to get his shot off no matter what no matter who's guarding him and part of that's just him pulling deeper than anybody thinks he could possibly shoot it but i just i i get the feeling when he when he pulls up half of these threes that they're getting blocked i just get that feeling every time i don't know if you guys get it let me know in the comments but he, he reminds me so much of Steph. like I, and hopefully that's the peak if he can get to. He's already scoring 30 points a game. So if we just compare Trey and Luca with their stats from just this year alone, they're almost identical actually. Trey Young is scoring 30 points, 9.2 assists per game, and 4.4 rebounds. Where Luca is scoring 29 points a game, 8.6 rebounds, and 9.6 assists. The only main difference is that Luca has a major height advantage on Trey. So they both play the same same position, but Luca is standing half a foot taller than Trey, so it makes sense that he's getting more rebounds. So right now, Trey Young is shooting more threes than Luca, but shockingly enough, he's five percent better three point shooter than Luca. Luca's only thirty two point seven, which is low. It's surprisingly low, and that's actually the same percentage he was at in his rookie year. I think part of the reason is that he's taking. A lot of step backs he's getting a lot of those iso deep step backs that he loves taking but i think that's hurting his efficiency and trey is shooting 37.4 which the league average is 35.6 percent so he's shooting above average on threes and some of these threes i mean i'm looking through these highlights they're insane i think the last 10 games have really changed in my mind they've changed the whole comparison between Trey and Luca. I thought Luca was definitely the better overall player. They're both scoring an incredible amount. And Trey hasn't missed any games this whole year. Right now, he's at the fourth most highest usage rate at 35%, while he's also scoring the third most in the league, and he has the third most points in the league, and he's also second in assists right now behind LeBron so these are all huge numbers to be putting up as a second year player unfortunately Trey Young also holds the title of the most turnovers in the league he's number one at 255 which last year he was third overall with 308 so unfortunately it looks like he's gonna actually beat his own record <laughs> In turnovers because there's still like a third of the season to go so even though Luca's missed 12 games he, he still has the third highest efficiency rating in the league at 29.2 I think the only people he he's behind is Giannis and LeBron and Giannis is posting some historic numbers the only thing about Trey is that I wish it led more to wins his team is not good and maybe that's not his fault at all but 
They're 17 and 42. They're 15th in the in the Eastern Conference, which is always pretty bad. And compare that to Luca's uh, Mavericks that are seventh in the West and the 35 and 32. So yeah, these have just been my thoughts on Trey and Luca. Um, just let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is Luca miles better than Trey? I'm curious. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.